Outriders was quite the popular game. It's a game people still do enjoy, and it's a game we all knew was going to fall victim to those mods and hacks. Early within the demo we started seeing these mods and hacks for the game, and it was only going to be a matter of time before we saw such things hit the full game's release. Right now mods are absolutely everywhere, and today guys I want to talk about the future of them within this game. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like quite see and want to see more Outriders be sure to subscribe. Also guys before we go any further I've just started a TikTok mainly concentrated on my car but it will evolve over time. If you do want to follow me over there you'll find it linked at the top of the video description and linked at the top of the comments section. Okay so back to the video. So I firstly just want to state where I stand on such things. I don't use mods, I don't recommend using mods and I for sure don't do any kind of modded lobbies or sell such. I'm making this clear as I made a video a while back on modded weapons and through that video I was bombarded by people looking to obtain them, even offering to pay me for them. Like what the heck? Now this isn't me Jack. I feel a game like this would be ruined by such things. Now in saying that, at the end of the day, you paid for this game, you can play it how you want to, and I or nobody else can stop you. It really is that simple. I used mods on Cyberpunk, I used mods on Borderlands, and with both experiences, mods made the game more fun for me. And at the end of the day, who am I to say or determine what makes the game fun for anybody else? So what I want to speak about today and answer a question I've been asked and seen many many times and that is do people can fly even care if you use modded weapons and this is being asked due to the fact everyone who has used modded weapons or continues to do so hasn't been punished in any kind of way not even with that watermark which labels these people who use them which people can fly said would happen so what's happening and do people can fly actually care if you use mods while the answer to that question is obviously yes, of course they care, but I'd say since release their priorities have been elsewhere, mainly fixing the game. And this I feel is also a reason behind the spike in mods we see. The fact the game's been bust with the feeling of people can fly not really caring about the game, people at the same time haven't cared and just used them. Now don't get it twisted, because a crossplay means mods can get on every console, and mods range from OP weapons and armor to unlimited skills your tree points and even modded lobbies where you are guaranteed a certain amount of legendary drops which ain't even modded items it's just coding being changed to make more legendaries drop and some people even sell such lobbies so you can complete a collection or get a certain legendaries you want how can people can fly even combat that because at the end of the day if i turn crossplay on i join somebody who was on pc they have done a modded lobby and I get loot I shouldn't get, how would I even know and is that really my fault and should I be punished for it? And this is a massive problem for people can fly when they get around to dealing with these things, which I guarantee people they will do. Like I said, they've spent most of their time trying to fix the game. It's not 100% yet, but it's getting there and I feel when it is at its best state possible, they will look into this further. Now the problem I feel is, as they have said, the way to punish such is watermarking people's screens. I mean 99% of the player base who use mods won't ever showcase footage publicly, so why would a watermark even matter? I think they know this too and I feel some other form of action might be taken by people can fly. I've actually spoken to someone who has used modded weapons. He doesn't play as much as he used to but when he jumps on he carries people through expeditions who can't do them because of having no friends or people to play with. He don't give them modded items, he don't give them boosted legendary drops, he just helps them through expeditions. He also doesn't make content and doesn't care about the watermark but does want the game to meet that expectation it truly can get to. Is he a part of the problem? But the question is, what actually is the problem? Most who have used mods won't feel the game is going anywhere anyway. This is the response I got from him when I asked. He said modded weapons will always be a part of this game, like they are Borderlands. The reason being is the fact that there's people out there who look for them. There's modding communities for such. Now because me, you and people can fly don't want to use them or want other people to use them, it doesn't matter they're always going to be a part of this game. That is until people can fly make the punishments deterring enough for people to play legitly. Now the game right now is on up, the game right now is in the best state it's ever been, but I do feel it's a little too late now to eliminate modders and I feel we will just have to be aware of their presence within the community. 
I myself in my Discord have people who use modded weapons. I ain't about to ban them because of this, because it isn't my right to do so considering I have channels dedicated to modded Borderlands 3 items. The only thing I can do is eliminate them being given out within my Discord, which I am doing because it isn't the side of the game I want to be associated with and promote. But again, like I said at the start of the video, I can't and won't tell people how to play this game, a game in which they've paid for. I ain't the lord of the internet and this guys is where I stand on my opinion on if people can fly care about mods in this game. I believe they do and I believe we will see a response sometime on the state of this game and we'll see mods and modded items being mentioned there. So yes guys my advice to you would be don't use modded items, don't promote modded items and for damn sure do not buy any services. But if you have played crossplay and you've actually received a modded item or you went into a lobby where you got a crazy amount of legendaries drop let me know down below in that comment section but on that note we have come to the end of the video this is where i stand on modded items within outriders if you guys enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one